And a developing story we're following for you tonight, San Francisco-based Gap, Inc., among several, announcing that they will be removing all products designed by Kanye West, now known as Ye. A Crown Force Amanda Harry spoke with a Jewish organization about why they encouraged the company to take this stand. Typing in YeezyGap.com on your browser now takes you straight to Gap's website. The San Francisco-based retailer announced today it's immediately removing all products by Ye, the rapper formerly known as Kanye West, and shutting down YeezyGap.com. Gap becoming the latest brand to cut ties with Ye over his anti-Semitic comments. In a statement, Gap said, quote, anti-Semitism, racism, and hate in any form are inexcusable and not tolerated in accordance with our values. On behalf of our customers, employees, and shareholders, we're partnering with organizations that combat hate and discrimination. To make sure that hate has consequences. I mean, I think we've seen that through this episode that anti-Semitism does have serious consequences. Regional Director of the Central Pacific American Defamation League, Seth Brisk, says he's pleased to see some companies taking action, but says they should have acted much sooner. Well, we've been reaching out to corporations um, across the country, uh, Gap, Adidas most notably, to say you don't want your brand associated with anti-Semitism. It took 10 days, and those are, that's 10 days too long. For these companies to be able to speak out. Adidas also ended its partnership with Ye on Tuesday, days after this banner was put up in Los Angeles over the weekend, echoing the rapper's recent rants against the Jewish community. We see extremists taking this to heart and seeing it as a victory and using it as a means of furthering their goals. Brisk says Adidas and Gap's terminations are imperative to fighting anti-Semitism. When hate appears, when hate rears its ugly head, this is the way that things ought to, to, uh, to happen, that the companies ought to respond and say, no, this does not represent the corporate values that we espouse. Amanda Harry, Cron4 News.